Hello friends, this is Nelson Darwin Park Tech channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement the half adder in Verilog, how half adder works, half adder truth table, and also some basics of model sim software that how to create a project and how to simulate your code. So we'll come to our half adder. Uh, half adder takes two inputs of A and B and generates sum and carry out. So it has two inputs. So come to the combination of two table like uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, double 0, double 1. So for sum, we have to add A and B. So A plus B, 0 plus 0, sum 0, carry out is also 0. 0 plus 1, sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 0, sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 1, sum is 0 and carry is 1. So for drawing the gate diagram of the half header, we have to analyze the two table thoroughly. So here in here you can see for generating sum, we can use which gate. It is, it is giving us 1 on different bits and 0 on same bit. So we can use an XOR gate for generating sum. And as in C out, you can see it is giving us one when both of the bits are one and zero if the single bits goes low or zero. So for C out, we can use uh, C out, we can use AND gate, and for sum, we can use XOR gate. So let's come to diagram of uh, half adder. So first of all, we have to generate two inputs of A and B for generating A and B. So for generating sum, we'll have to use an XOR gate like this and it will give us sum with an inputs of A as first input and B as second input. For generating sum, uh, sorry, for generating carry, carry out, we'll have to use an AND gate with the same inputs of A and B. It will generate carry out with an input of A and B. This block is half adder. So, in order to implement it on Verilog, we'll come to our software, which is model sim. So first question will be popping up in your mind that how to create a project in this complicated software. Well, it is not a difficult task. We'll first of all, we have to come to file, new and project. Here you can name your project as I am creating half error. So half error or any name you want. I mean here you have to click on create new file enter your project or module name as I'm using half header changes extension here as we are doing a coding in Verilog and press OK. So for implementing half header in Verilog first of all we'll have to declare the name of our module and define its input and output pins as like a module that is half header or any name you can enter in here any name you like half header it is taking or it is giving output of sum and c out and taking inputs of a and b as you remember from the diagram in here it is taking a and b as input and generating output of sum and c out so i'll be defining a as a and b as input with input command and sum and carry out as output using output command now again we'll come to a diagram from in here you can see xor is taking the inputs of a and b and giving us a sum and c out is taking an input of a and b and generating c out so we'll use the inbuilt functions of verilog by calling the basic gates like x or x1 
I'm calling XOR and give it, it any name. You can give any name you want as I'm storing my output in sum and giving it the input of A and B. Now an end gate, I'm giving it a name. It is generating C out and with the inputs of A and B. We'll end our module here. Now for checking our code, whether it is working properly or not giving correct outputs or not, we'll create a test bench. You can create test bench in the same file or in the another file. So I am creating my test bench in the same file. So I'll come here and create a test bench using module test bench for half adder. Here I had defined my inputs as input command and output using output command. In test bench, we define our inputs using reg command as our inputs are A and B and output using wire command as our output are sum and carry out. Now you will have to call your module for testing and simulating your code and give it any name as I'm giving it H1. From in here, I'll start my test bench by giving it different values to the inputs by initializing it and begin. Now give values to your variable or inputs. A is equal to as the values of one bit. We give bit values using one apostrophe b followed by your bitwise value b is equal to one bit value of zero as it only taking two bits i'll copy this command and paste it for four times so i can show you all the outputs it is zero one zero one and double zero then followed by double one Also, don't forget to give the delay of some units so that we can prevent it or prevent our output from short circuit or high impedance. Done. I will end my module. I'll end my test bench here and end my module again in here. I'll save my and compile it from here. As you can see, compile of HA new dot B was successful. Now we'll simulate our code by going to simulate and start simulation. In here, we have to extend our work file and find your respective test bench you have named. Like I have named test bench for full adder, half adder, sorry. So test bench for half adder in here and press OK. I'll come here, right click and add wave. Run your or simulate your core from this option. Run your wave. Also, you can convert these to binary by right clicking on them, going to radix and selecting binary. Okay, so from in here, you can see one plus one sum is zero and carry is one now we'll change the bits zero plus one sum is one zero plus one sum is one and carry is zero one plus one sum is zero and carry is one so it was enough for this tutorial for learning more stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you